faculty need to let students know when assignments are due. Um, we can't just leave it as an open-ended assignment that it looks like it's not due till the end of the semester. We need to be able to say, okay, you need to respond to this question by a certain amount of time, which uh, gives the faculty member the opportunity to grade their work and get feedback straight to the student uh, in a timely manner to let them know that, yes, you're doing great, or uh, think about this in your next response. Uh, how can you improve on a response? If we provide the timeline for the students to get their work done, it gives the faculty member a timeline in which to get them proper feedback on how they're doing. Well, immediate feedback is a, is a learning principle. Uh, it's, it's good to provide uh, feedback within the same day or the, the day after a student submits things. That becomes a challenge for instructors if you have a lot of activities in your course that require assessment and feedback. Uh, but if students are going to modify their future behavior, they have to understand uh, what they have done wrong in the present. So that's why we always advocate for faculty to give frequent and uh, immediate feedback. In an online environment, students find it very frustrating when they send an email or a message and they don't hear back from a professor for days or weeks. And so it's really important that they get that instant feedback or as instant as possible when they don't have the face-to-face -face possibility. I let my students know on the syllabus that I will get back to their, I will respond to their emails within 24 hours or their messages on Blackboard. And I always, if I don't have an answer right away for them, I let them know that I will find the answer for them and respond um, as soon as I possibly can. I think sometimes professors, well students have the expectation that a professor will be available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And so um, a potential pitfall is that if a professor doesn't let a student know that they might not respond over a weekend or over a vacation or something like that, that a student can become frustrated easily. Well, in my courses and the courses that I help other folks design, I always advocate and practice myself uh, a lot of small stakes assessments. Uh, for example, in my course, I assess every discussion post, and I provide feedback on those that I find unacceptable, and I explain the reason why. And I have uh, perhaps as many as two or three hundred discussion posts that are required in a course that I teach, and so that's a lot of feedback. Uh, and once students, however, uh, get through the initial couple of discussion forums and they've seen what kinds of mistakes they can make, uh, they make them less and less frequent, so my job as the feedback provider gets easier as the course matures. I know that uh, some instructors use uh, an application which uh, is like a clipboard which saves responses so that they can be reused, they're like reusable uh, responses. Uh, other people just simply write their responses in Microsoft Word and then copy and paste them as, as appropriate. Uh, but you have to have some way of making your job efficient. Uh, an instructor is going to burn out if they're spending hours and hours and hours in every course they teach providing feedback to students. Uh, I know for providing extensive feedback on important assignments is also important, but providing you know, quick and dirty feedback on repetitive assignments uh, can also be equally productive as it shapes the student's behavior to be more and more uh, what you want. Instructors are good at reminding students that it's important to keep up. And so instructional designers are good at reminding instructors that it's important to keep up. If you, uh, if you fall behind or you know, take a few days off, the quantity of work that you face can be a little bit depressing. So uh, logging on and replying rapidly to students is important. I also recommend that in important discussions where feedback needs to be provided right away for mistakes, subscribe to the discussion forum so that you know almost uh, your cell phone dings every time somebody puts a post in and uh, you can take a quick look at it and see if it needs any kind of a response.